Hi, Sheila. I am making these uh, videos for you with the band uh, that we had done before you left. So, um, sorry I didn't get these to you sooner. So, I have the green band here. And if you have something to tie it to, you can do that. But I just wanted to show you again, you can fold it in half and make a knot. And then this is my little studio room. So I can open the door here. There's a curtain here. Uh, and, and then you're going to put the, um, the loop through the hinge in the door and have it be, I'm going to say around chest height, and then you can close the door. And then from there, I'm just going to pull this through a little bit. And then from there, you close the door and get your curtain out of the way. Hopefully you don't have a curtain in front of your door. <laughs> and then you can close it. So hopefully yours is a little bit easier of a process. So the first direction you're going to be standing is facing your band. You can do a variety of leg positions. The first one is simply heels in line with your sits bones or your hip bones. You want to feel the tripod feet and noticing if you are shifting more on one side versus the other, really trying to find that nice even push through the feet. There's a sense of lift up the front and creating space in your body. So when you are bringing this resistance in, you're really trying to distribute the force. So the first one that we'll do is a chest expansion. You can hold the band just at the ends. You can wrap around. You want to make sure that you are right in the middle and you just go ahead and draw the arms back. Palms are facing inwards. You can feel like your pinky fingers are leading back and then returning and drawing in. So when you feel that resistance, you press through the feet, distribute that force and return. And we're just going to keep going with this. Now you can let your breath breathe. You just want to make sure you're breathing. You can also explore if you prefer doing an inhale or an exhale as you pull into the band. So friendly reminder, the inhale is going to help you create space and expansion. And the exhale might help you feel like you're engaging and getting everything to organize to the center. Now we're doing eight of these. You can certainly do more. We're looking for that quality and mindfulness rather than I'm just going to do, you know, eight to 10 reps on the last one. You can pause and just little pulses, just going forward and back a little bit. And as you pull back into that resistance, you keep distributing that force, keep expanding and let's do four more palms are facing in pinky fingers are leading drawing up the center one more time and then return. All we're going to change is the feet to start. So let's take the left foot forward and the right foot back. And you are doing the same arm movement. So the legs are different, but the upper body is the same. And you can see how this feels. Still feeling the press through the feet. We're going to just do two more of these because we're going to slowly add on some complexity. And now the next four, what would it feel like if you lifted that back heel as you took the arms back and then return and a nice little pull and lift and return. Let's do two more and pull and lift and return one more time. Now, there's two variations we could add. One is 
having the arms alternate. So as you lift the heel, you're gonna pull the opposite arm back. This puts a nice little spiral in the body. And you can see what it feels like to just lift that other arm up. It's like this big kind of swinging walk. And then just returning. And we could do that again. So as you lift the heel, you pull the opposite arm back. And do you notice like your hips are rotating? And so is your upper body, but they're counter rotating. And then returning. Now the last little thing we could add on to this is moving the head. So what if our head went in the same direction as the arm that's getting pulled back and then returning and one more time. Arm pulls, little push of the foot. You can bring that arm forward, little turn of the head and return. Then we're gonna do all of that on the other leg. So we organize the legs, we're like train tracks. And feeling the tripod feet, here you go. You're going to simply pull the arms and return. And as the arms pull, it's that same practice of distribute that force. Create space so your spine feels like it can breathe and it can flow. Let's do one more. And then the second part of this is going to be lifting that back heel. So the arms pull, lift the heel. And feel free to change, you know, the distance between the legs. So if you're like, oh, I might want to widen that, you can totally do that. And a nice pull. A return. So we're slowly adding complexity to this. Ooh, as you can see, <laughs> I almost lost my balance there. So we have to have a lot more awareness of, of how we're organizing ourselves. Now we're going to add the opposite arm is going to pull back. So you go ahead and press up on the ball of the foot. You pull the arm back. And my left hip is actually rotating a little bit forward. And my torso is rotating. And then return. And we do that one more time. So we press and we rotate. It's like we're going to do a nice big step. The last thing we add is the head turn. So our head is going to turn towards the arm that's going back. You can look over your shoulder. You can look to the corner. You can always just see how far you go. And last one, you're still drawing up the front and then returning. Awesome. So that is our facing forward series.